Yeah, hi YouTube. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find new topics for videos. Things I haven't shown yet, and there is one thing I could show. Well, you probably know that sometimes um, when you make PCBs, sometimes, well, you spoil it. Like, uh, either um, the development was wrong, or the exposure was wrong, something was wrong, so you can use it. And if you don't etch the PCB, you can reuse it. See, this is one of <laughs> these uh, examples of, uh, well, spoiled PCBs. Something was wrong here. Uh, there's still the photo finish is still on there. You can see it. And it has corroded a little. This is another example of, of a mishap. Um, don't throw these away. Uh, because you can reuse them uh, and this is what I want to show you now I use this one because uh, I um, I coated this with SK10 I guess protective uh, coating so it doesn't corrode and what we use is this positive 20 from contact I, I don't know whether in other countries what you would use but this is a photo um, positive finish for PCBs uh, it's rather old and this one has an expiration date which was 2008 but my guess is it still works uh, I have a new bottle but let's do it with this one uh, we actually have to make this a two-parter because um, it needs quite some time to dry out and it needs to be dry but one thing at a time and it makes a lot of mess <clears throat> this is why I use this box here to spray the, the PCB you know not to, to make that much a mess here it's, it's, it's quite messy but it works and I want to prove that so let's make this I just hope that we can still use it it's, it's, well, it's a good experiment because it's two years expired now and if it still works well this is also a proof that you can really overstore this um, I use acetone to clean the PCB one thing about it, one, one very um, very important thing about it is that the PCB must be free of any fat residues it must be blank so let's do this it must be must be really blank. I fed residues on, on the PCB, on the copper. Because if you have, then you've got a problem. So, by doing this, I remove um, the SK10. And at the same time, make it fat free. For well, this we could use our toluene as well, because it is a very nice fat solvent, but I don't think it is really necessary. Uh, not for this one. Yeah. Well, it must be if it isn't clean and if there is fat on the surface, so I don't touch it with my fingers, if there is any fat on the surface, um, this finish won't distribute nicely. It will leave out spots. And this is of course a very bad when it comes to PCB production because uh, if there is a blind spot, well our tracks will be interrupted and this will make a non-working PCB and this is probably not what we want so first rule and last rule the PCB must be clean so this is why I do it one more time uh, but it looks good looks very if it is a bit corroded I don't think that this is that much of a problem but Mainly it must be fed free. You can buy um, material, base material like this, 
without a photo finish you can buy it like that and it's just the same as I would have bought it so okay let's just say fat and free of other residues so I use pressure there to remove any dust sometimes those uh, this this leaves dust on your PCB and you don't want dust either so now we have a PCB we can reuse let's don't touch it on the top side don't pollute it and I have a little platform in here let's yeah you can see it well enough problem is the stuff is so dirty I don't want to get the dirt on my camera generally of course this is um, a little light sensitive but um, yeah we could switch off this light I mean do it when it's dark that's really better will get you a better result especially if this is some old stuff still enough to see and this is also why I use the box because afterwards I can close it so it's light resistant that's why you should use a box alright let's try it out um, once again the success is only as good as the surface of the PCB if it is clean it will work if not well not so good let's try it out and don't code too next thing don't um, you have to keep a certain distance to the PCB to the surface not not too close well let's see now I hate this stuff and it smells Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, it looks a bit strange. Uh, this could also be a problem with the age of that stuff. Hmm. Looks like there is uh, some pollution here. Let's check it out. We need a little more light here. Hmm. Now this doesn't. Look... I guess. Now this is a good example of what I mean. It's a very good example. Look at this. You see those little dots? I think this is what it is. It's dirt. It's dust. And this is where the, the coating... Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can actually see it. It would be perfect without the dirt. And this is bec uh, still... I mean, I you, you, you saw that I used um, pressure there to remove it, but not quite enough. Well, this is not so bad because we can just... In, in such a case now with light... You see? There at the spots you can actually see the dirt and in every spot there is a little piece of dirt of dust of whatever it is and this is no this is not good this, this is bad so what we have to do now yeah this is a good example of how it can fail I said it must be clean free from fat and any other residues oh, this is not so bad because we can just well we remove it and do it again this is not a problem now um, but one thing, if, if you have made it like this, uh, you know that you can, can't use it. It must be very evenly distributed. Uh, this is not good. Not good at all. But, well, we just repeat it. We have to make this a two-parter. It's not because the video gets too long. It's just we, we have to dry it out before we can use it. 
and I have to think about what circuit I could use. Well, looks good again. This time, let's make it. Yeah, yeah, you know. The dirt could have come from the box itself. Uh, all right. Let's do this again. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know, funny thing, there is dirt in this box, and I sort of by blowing it, I it, uh, I can actually see it. It's just. You know what, this is just normal dust. But you cannot have dust on the surface. But you saw what happens then. So let's do it again. I switch out this light and try it again. Oh, well, this looks better. Ah. Oh yeah, not better. And another thing, you don't need an awful lot of the stuff. It's very important that it is uh, evenly distributed and looks like this. Alright, there's still a little dirt, but I mean, we won't get an industrial result here. Let's have a look. It looks, looks good enough. And I will show it to you when it is dried. Now you can use, say, an oven or something to dry it. Um, this is possible. I close it. Um, if you don't use anything, if you don't use heat to dry it out, it will take a long time to dry. It will take, yeah, hours. So I try to speed this up a little and then I make the second video about it uh, when we actually make something out of this say some layout so this was the first part and see you then and uh, thanks for watching again if ha you have any suggestions or say a wish for me to make something for you or you want to see any special topic ask and I'll see what I can do. Well thanks for watching again and see you soon in the second part of this